Hello, my name is Lily. Today I'm going to introduce 2200 kilowatts resistive and inductive two in one load bank to you. This load bank was built with a 20 foot container with a CSC certificate. Uh, so you can ship the load bank on board. Before using it, you need to open the cover on the top for air outlets and open all the windows for the air intake. There are eight chambers, so you need to open all the eight windows. And this is the maintenance door for future maintenance. And the cable connection, here is the bus bar. For line one, line two, line three, there are different boards you can um, connect the cables. And this is the power source for the fans. There are eight fans in this low bank. Each one is four kilowatts. So totally it needs 32 kilowatts for the fans. This is the circuit breaker for the fans, uh, for the power source. And we will supply the sockets with this low bank. The RC45 is for the port interface to connect uh, this low bank to the laptop uh, for the remote control in case that the PLC was built in. Neutral can be connected or uh, not connected. It's not necessary. Now let's check the control panel. Uh, this is the power source control for the lamps. In this control panel, you can see line 1, line 2, line 3. Uh, after you connect the cable to the generator and turn on the circuit breaker on your generator, these lamps will uh, give lights. And this is the power source for the control panel. This is the multi-function meter and this is the sequence of the CT. And here shows knob control uh, menu. Remote control is the laptop use the RZ45 touch screen, uh, this one. And let's try the knob control first. There are eight chambers in this low bank. Uh, chamber one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's separate. So each chamber uses a different fan to control it. Now turn on the resistive load, power factor one, uh, to test the generator. And in case that you need to show the power factor 0 0.8, then you can add the inductive load like this. Yeah. This is the manual control, very easy. And now let's uh, turn off it and try the uh, HMI. Switch it to touch screen. Enter. From the setting, uh, setting keywords. You can choose Chinese or English. Manual control is the same. Turn on the master load and turn on fan. Load on, off. And 
now let's turn off it and use the auto for example this is a 2000 kilowatt low bank and we can use it to test the 2000 kilowatt uh, just enter uh, 2000 and then uh, load uh, from zero to 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent 100 percent 10 percent overload and unload the duration yeah you can set the time for each step step one step two step three step four step five step six and then uh, start See. Automatic. Full load now. Just now I choose the power factor 0.8 so the resistive load and inductive load uh, will be automatically on. If you only need the power factor 1 then you can just choose power factor 1 uh, to test it. Let's try. is auto uh, auto testing and there are fans failure overheating overload over voltage how to be overload and over voltage uh, for example this is a low bank 415 volt uh, rated voltage uh, but it, when you use it to test a generator 440 volt then it will be overload with uh, over voltage because when the uh, voltage is getting higher then the um, ampere of the generator uh, will increase yeah. low airflow uh, vapor maintenance door open uh, this this door need to be closed uh, when you uh, operate the uh, low bank so when this maintenance door open and the rear and the maintenance uh, door open it will give you vapor control power failure and this is the reset for example now let's open this this door Thank you for watching us. So in case you have more questions, you can connect with our sales to get more uh, uh, answer for our products. Thank you.